Hello. I hope you are doing well. And this is my first story in English for you. Um, I I am originally from Portugal, and I have lived in the UK since 1998 and I moved to the island of Jersey when I was 18 years old my favorite subjects at high school when I was a teenager were art and English and I remember the first ever English lesson um, in 1999 I love the language so much that I remember the first lesson and I grew up exposed to the English language uh, in the island of Madeira because we only had one channel and it uh, every day it broadcast English uh, TV programs, uh, movies, whether they'd be British, Australian or from the USA um, so I grew up watching uh, and listening also listening to to music on on the radio on the local FM radio and <coughs> pardon so I had uh, some English basics already and some members of my family had uh, lived, uh, emigrated to England and they'd come back. and So there was uh, exposure to English from, from birth, really. And about the first English lesson, uh, we had our English book and... On the first page, uh, there was uh, illustrations of uh, children uh, talking to each other. And the first lesson was about um, introducing yourself to someone, greeting someone. And on the first page, there was this girl called Edna. And yes, yeah, she she was saying, "Hello. How are you? My name is Edna. What's your name?" <laughs> if you have learned English at school, you probably can relate to this uh, phrase. Uh, so, I remember that today. I never forgot that name. And even though I have lived. Uh, in England for 23 years I'm yet to meet an Edna and today I discovered that uh, it was a very popular name in the USA uh, in the early 20th century but then it uh, yeah it was no longer in fashion and maybe that's that's big reason why and it was also interesting to discover that uh, Edna originates from he Hebrew meaning pleasure and one of the things that gives me most pleasure in life is the English language I love it I love reading, I love speaking it, and 
I just love it. And this is why I decided to start doing these videos. I hope you'll enjoy <laughs> these <laughs> stories in English. So then I also discovered that uh, this name is closely re related to the name Eden, which is paradise. And on my first year in England, I was living in the island of Jersey and I lived in uh, four different places in the space of about a year. And one of them was a lovely guest house. And the name of this guest house was Eden House. And again, I never forget that place because it was one of the best places I ever lived. It was a, a Victorian built house, um, which is from the period nearing the beginning of the 20th century when the, the name Edna became, was very popular in the USA. And I only lived there for a few months because uh, the lady, uh, the landlady, she only rented it to, to the island's residents for, for the winter uh, at a cheaper price. And then she would uh, rent it to holiday makers at a more expensive price throughout spring and summer. Uh, so this is the reason why um, I left, uh, found another place to live in St. Saviour's Road um, in Jersey. But yeah, it's interesting that uh, there are these two connections. And actually my name also derives from Hebrew. And it's something like, my name is Elizabeth, it's something like, uh, my God is a promise and my God is abundance, something like that. So this is uh, the first story. Uh, there is another thing uh, that I would like to, to add to this uh, story in English. Uh, the the island this in relation to eden the island where i come from madeira was uh, discovered by the portuguese explorers in the 1400s and when they arrived at the island uh, they were very devout roman catholics and it was a virgin island and they found it so beautiful that they um, called it they believed it was a new paradise and because of it the first two children born in the island uh, were named their brother and sister and they were named Adam and Eve Adam and Eve and they were the children of a man called Gonzalo and uh, a town in in the in the south of the island where the first city was founded this town is part of that city is named after him is named Saint Gonzalo he was not a saint but all around Madeira most uh, areas most villages you know, uh, they're called, uh, they're named after a saint. Uh, and so this, uh, this area which was assigned to him, to this man called Gonzalo, uh, was named after him. And that's where I was baptized in 1979, as well as my mum because that's the area where my maternal family was living. Uh, and 
yeah, so there's this beautiful connection uh, with um, paradise and also um, when the Portuguese explorers arrived, there was a connection with England in Madeira because when the first explorers arrived, there were two crosses. They arrived in this area, which they decided to call Mexico, after the name, some believe, Mexim. And these two crosses that were at the island, the explorers believed, were from a couple who, when fleeing England, bound to France, they ended up uh, stranded at the island. Not stranded, they stopped uh, because of a storm. They were not alone. Uh, they were in a, in a, in a ship with, uh, along with a crew. And they stopped in Madeira. And uh, she was uh, exhausted from the trip. And she died. And they stayed at the island a few, a few days. And then he died. And his name was Mishim. And the reason why they were fleeing England was because um, she came from a very wealthy family and her parents did not want her to, to marry this man. Uh, she, they wanted her to marry someone else who actually imprisoned her in his uh, castle, something like that. But anyway, um, somehow she escaped and Mishim, uh, who fell in love with her, he was imprisoned as well. But somehow they managed to escape and run away to France. But unfortunately, uh, they ended up um, dying in Madeira. And... Yeah, they stopped there during a storm, and it's interesting because the Portuguese explorers, how they found Madeira was in a similar way. They were uh, traveling to or from Africa. They just started exploring the coast of Africa, and they, uh, during a storm, they ended up uh, landing in Porto Santo, a tiny sandy island near Madeira. In uh, it was either 1418 or 1419, different uh, sources say different dates, but um, a version of the story is that uh, they ended up uh, stopping there because of a storm, and from there they saw Madeira. And because uh, that island saved them, saved their lives, they, the tiny island, they called it um, Holy Port, Porto Santo, Holy Port. And Madeira, they decided to call, Madi call it Madeira because it was so dense with wood. And Madeira is Portuguese for wood. And... It was so dense that sometime after arriving, they decided to burn it for seven years. It's difficult to imagine an island burning for seven years, but that's what happened. And in relation to English, um, Madeira has a, a long history with, with the English. Uh, but that's a story for another time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first one, this one. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.